have you ever experienced your makeup looking cakey, patchy, flaky in spite of doing all the perfect steps to make sure that your base looks flawless? If this happens to you, then this video is perfect for you. So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be talking about something which is quite important and this is barely even spoken about and this is something which we all do on a very regular basis until you actually understand how it basically works. So if you felt it was a yes to all the questions I asked you in the beginning, so it's pretty much down to how you set your base. So coming to how you set your base, the most commonly done method is to use a compact to set your base, okay? So today we're going to be trying to use compacts on one side of the face and we're going to use an alternative product on the other side and let's see how it looks looks and I'll tell you why the texture changes and why you're also noticing texture and all that stuff so on that note let's get started ahead with this video so I'm just going to tell you all the steps that we usually do when it comes to our base routine so first we start with priming and then we do our foundation then we do our concealer and then we do our powder so why do we use this powder we use this powder for what to set our makeup okay so now comes the question what are your compacts mainly used for any of your compacts i'm basically using the maybelline fit me for reference because this is one of the most famous ones which everyone uses so when you look at this one over here they have a color which is with them so there is pigment in it which is going to match your skin basically okay so you have different different tones different different colors so likewise there are different different compacts basically so when you see a compact it does have a bit of pigment Okay, so pigments are what is giving you a little bit of opacity with your makeup. So the first point that we're going to make about why not using a compact is to make sure that you depend on your foundation and your concealer for coverage and not on your compact. So your compact does have pigments but that pigment is in a powdery form which does make your skin look a lot less natural, it starts to cake up, it starts to get patchy. So depend on your foundation and your concealer and if possible you can also use a corrector. So depend on these three products and make sure that they are like you know of higher coverage like let's say you want more coverage, don't depend on a compact, rather depend on your foundation or your concealer for better coverage. Now we know that we're not going to depend on a compact for giving you coverage. So coming to point number two, how are your compacts different from your tinted loose powders? So when you see your compact they don't fall off right so there's something in it to make it sit on the pan and that is basically binders which they use for compacts when you speak about the binders in a compact they are really helpful to keep the powder you know in a very pressed format which makes it super easy for travel and for you know any instant touch-ups but at the same time you are using it on skin texture so this will make your skin texture become a lot more textury and it starts to make your makeup look a lot more cakey and that is the reason why you feel that your makeup is just not you know just does not really look flawless so when you do your foundation you feel like your skin looks really good and then once you set it you just feel like uh, no my skin is not really good so i wouldn't say that this happens with all the compacts of course there are a couple of exceptions some of them are really good but majoritively in a very you know in a very broad spectrum majority of the compacts will do the same thing to your base so you speak about a compact or a powder foundation and how it typically must be used use it directly on your skin after your skin prep and that way it does give you a little bit of coverage and you know depending some of the foundations powder foundations they give you a lot more coverage but compacts they wouldn't give you that amount of coverage but it would give you a tiny bit of coverage so I think that is a certain way you can use a compact and do not use this to set your base because your base is anyways gonna give you coverage so it kind of defies the point of using a compact. So now comes the question, how do we set our base? And that would be to use a product which only sets your base but does not give you any coverage and it just does the work of you know just setting your base so what can you use for that you can always use a loose translucent setting powder or let's say you're of much more deeper darker skin tone you can always use a banana loose setting powder these two work amazingly well and they do the only job of setting your makeup they do not give you any coverage and they're extremely soft they're very 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 finely made sometimes powders are around six to ten times milled you know so they become extremely very 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 fine and the particular sizes are a lot more smaller than your regular compacts and 
that does this great job of sitting in all of your bumps and all of your crevices so you have pits on your skin and it smoothens your skin which makes your skin texture look a lot more better so i'm going to drop down a couple of the best setting powder recommendations down in the description bar below for today i'm going to use the k beauty setting powder so i'm taking it on a tapered brush and we're going to just lightly set our t-zone so i would press it inside this way so don't drag don't move it just take your powder and press it onto your skin so i'm going to take some more i'm going to dust off the excess and we're going to press it onto our skin so this would just set your makeup without making your skin look cakey or you know giving you additional texture which is really helpful and you know just kind of making your base look all natural I'm going to insert a picture which is a close up with very less lighting and you can see the textural difference. So there you go and this is one of the most common problems which people ask me about you know skin texture because of using a powder some people they don't like to set their base but they're very uh, you know they just like the way it starts to get oily or starts to crease so people are clueless about what to do and how to set your base in a certain way that it does not really increase the texture on your skin. So I hope this was helpful for you and you can always send me your, you know, your makeup concerns and just everyday makeup problems that you face. You can drop them down in the comment section below or you can send me pictures for reference on my Instagram page or an email and I'll be happy to make a video about it. So please support my channel, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and stay tuned for another one. Until next time, bye!